Today, I want to share with you guys one answer that you can always use when you're faced with the question, what are your weaknesses? Let's check it out. As you know, what are your weaknesses is a very common question that comes up time and time again. And it is a tricky question. You do need to be intentional about what you choose to and what you choose not to discuss. For example, this is not the time for you to share with them all your darkest secrets, nor should you discuss some critical weakness of yours, such as how you do not get along with your colleagues or your boss, or that you're habitually late all the time, or that you're not very good with deadlines, and etc. The strategy when answering or tackling this question is to choose a topic that is relatively harmless or obvious, something that the employer would already know from your CV, for example, and then explain basically that this is not a big deal. Again, the key here is to choose something that is not serious or something that the employer would have already known before deciding to interview you and then alleviate any concern. And now, here is the tip that you can use every single time. Take a look at your job description. Most job descriptions have three sections. They are your responsibilities, what you'll be doing in, in the role, the required skills, as well as preferred skills. Some JDs will use different names such as how you can add value, the must-haves, the good-to-haves, and etc. But the idea is the same. What you want to do, what you should do, is to pick one skill or experience from the preferred skill section. It is imperative that you choose something from the preferred section and not the requirements. And then explain to the employer that you do not have that particular skill or experience or qualification, but you have something else that is comparable and explain what that is. To illustrate, let's say that you choose to talk about a particular certificate from the preferred skill section. In such a case, what you want to do is to explain to them that even though you do not have that particular one, you have a different but similar qualification that you have obtained instead. Or perhaps you may want to uh, discuss or explain to them that you, you possess all the skills that are required for that particular certificate already and give them concrete examples. Here are some sample answers. I noticed that the ABC certificate is one of the preferred qualifications. I do not have this particular one, but I do have XYZ, which covers very similar topics, and I am confident that I have the relevant knowledge in this area. Or, I noticed that, for example, CPA is one of the preferred qualifications for this role. I do not have CPA, but I have majored or minored in accounting at university and have had hands-on experience with budgeting and accounting throughout my career. As such, I am confident that I'll be able to leverage my knowledge in this area and add value right away. You may also choose to discuss a preferred technical skill that you do not have. In such a case, you can tell them that even though you do not have this specific skill, you're familiar with a comparable alternative technology and therefore you have a strong understanding, good understanding in this area. Or perhaps you can even tell them that you have already started to learn or study this particular technical skill and that you will be up to speed in no time. This is a great way to tackle the weakness question and you can use it in pretty much all interviews as long as you are aware of some of the preferred qualifications which is almost always available from job descriptions. 
just pick something that is not a requirement and explain to the interviewers that you are knowledgeable in a different but similar and interchangeable area or that you have hands-on experience with an alternative technology or that you are you have already started learning it and etc and you are set i hope this is helpful for your next interview also i would really appreciate it if you would like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already please do let us know if you have any questions or if there's any topic that you would like us to cover in our future videos thank you for watching and all the best